Okay, so before the video starts, the, these are some of the items that you're going to need to make them look better. You're going to need Mr. Endo 01. You're going to need basically any type of glue. Um, what I used was hot glue. I couldn't find any glue, so I just showed this. But it's any strong glue, I should say. And uh, a fine point sharpie. Oh, and uh, this thing too, which is like the nail shaver kind of thing. You can find that like a Swiss Army knife or something, but yeah, you need that too. Hey guys, from Nathan PVZ Plus here, and um, uh, yeah, I wanted to show y'all how to um, uh, make Toy Chica, make Carlin Toys Toy Chica and Wizard Chica look much better. These are mine, and uh, yeah, just to tell you the reason why I didn't upload yesterday is because I forgot to upload. That, that's it so yeah let's just get straight into this so my, how how i did my wither chica basically what you're going to need is some sort of glue i used a hot glue gun um a fine point sharpie and just the endoskeleton from the same exact set you get the chica so basically what you're going to do is that uh, you're going to have to take off the arms and Make them where they're pointing inwards, like this, and have the stubs facing outwards because, like, she has like some sort of like shoulder pads or something in the game. I don't know, but then you take the wire. You usually just have the wire point straight out. I just, I like my hanging. I like to do when I put mine hanging down. So you just attach that basically, just and do the same thing, exact thing with the other arm. And don't do it accidentally with the legs. I accidentally put the legs on backwards and now I can't fix it. But yeah, basically, after you're done with the arms, um, just e basically use, like, use, use the Sharpie and just, like, color on all the details. So, yeah. It, it's basically, I didn't see any, I didn't know if she had to wither on her back, so I just, this is basically all custom. This is, I just use a picture to see. And, uh, oh, yeah, also, you're probably going to need, like, like, some sort of, like, what do they call, um, so, like, I forget what they're called, like, it's, like, where you, like, use them with, for your nails or something like that, and that's, what I did is just, I took it, took something like that and just scrubbed down the side of the face, it's a bit of a different color, because it's, like, the inside of the material, what they use for these but i stick it still think it looks fine and that uh, how i gotta do with the end though is that you're gonna take off his you're gonna, you, you need his entire head and you need the top part of the mouth and uh you put that on and then you take the head and and hard to do it with one thing give me a second and uh yeah, it'll look like this, because she has a broken jaw. So, okay. Now we shall move on to Toy Chica. The Toy Chica is very simple. All you need is to, like, scary for saying, I forget what it's called. It's like, like, if you, if you know what it is, it's like, it's like you, like, it's like a nail shaver or something. I can't remember what it's called. And you need that and the Sharpie. The fine point Sharpie. Now what I oh I check up here. Okay, I'm back. It was it's hard to take off her head, but what McFarland did was kind of pull a Funko and gave her upper teeth on her beak. Uh, I I call it the pull the Funko because like with the action figures they gave all like every single action figure the Funko made was like upper teeth for some reason. Yeah, they did that with her. So I took the same exact thing as I used for Wizard Chica's the size of Wizard Chica's head. And, uh, yeah, I, I just scrubbed it down to where it's basically almost completely invisible unless you look at it at this angle. And the Sharpie was just for, like, eyelashes because she didn't have any. Now, what I, basically, if I was artistic enough with paint, I would, like, white out the eyes and try to redo them because mine are very wonky. They look in two different ways. But, like, I think the body looks amazing. But, like, just the, this, this, this part, this part of the entire character just throws it off. But besides that, I think it's a really good character. And it's hard to 
get the head back on. Great. Okay, on. There you go. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Well, I hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you all next time. And tell me if you want me to do something more like this. Like, show, showing or telling you all how to fix these characters. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye.